This is WENY News. Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. This morning, news of an arrest at Cornell University after an attempted armed robbery. The school says around five last night, a school employee was confronted by someone with a knife at the Synapsis Cafe. According to a school press release, the suspect tried to shove the employee into an elevator, but that employee got away and yelled for help. The suspect then ran, but was later arrested. Well, uh, New York State Police continue to investigate the fatal car crash that killed a Corden Community College student. Investigators say the evidence and witness interviews point to unsafe speed as a factor. Police say 18-year-old Justin Lewis of Painted Post lost control on a curve on Spencer Hill Road, hit two oncoming cars before crashing into a cement wall. Lewis was a 2013 graduate of Corning West High School. Corning Painted Post School Superintendent Mike Janowski issued a statement offering condolences to the family. CPP school counselors are available to students and staff. Corning Community College announced last night they have made counselors available to staff and students as well. Well, Alzheimer's disease can change so many people's lives. In fact, it's a national battle that affects more than 5 million people. Last night, locally affected people came out to talk about how it's changed their lives. The Rochester and Finger Lakes chapter of the Alzheimer's Association held a panel discussion. Questions hit on early signs of Alzheimer's to how they can get the younger generations involved. Many there hoped their stories would help spread awareness and get more funding for research. It's really important for people to stand up and, and be counted and then to really kind of let us know what it is they are dealing with, how we can help, because um, we can't guess, so this is, a, this is an opportunity to get people together. Congressman Tom Reed's office was at the event and they say they're bringing our concerns to Washington so we can help the one in three people over 65 who are dealing with the disease. And I was able to host it. Very eye-opening panel discussion right there. Well, ABBA lovers and musical fans alike have an opportunity to see one of the most popular Broadway shows in history. It's pretty good. All right, the three dynamos and Mamma Mia hit the stage last night at the Clemens Center. The musical production is celebrating 5,000 performances on Broadway. Inspired by some of ABBA's most popular songs like Dancing Queen and Take a Chance on Me have been seen by over 54 million people, including myself. It's the story of celebrating family and, of course, old friends. The story is, but it's just so many relationships, a mother-daughter relationship, best friend relationship, um, you know, Relation, love, yeah, love relationship. relationship. Two young, mm -hmm. A young couple. A young love, a reunited love, you know, it's just, it's, it can touch everybody in some sort it's of like, man. And if you want tickets, head to www.clemenscenter.com. That has me feeling like singing this morning, but you know I'm a little uh, congested, so I'll leave it to you, John. Take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia! Yeah, no, no one wants to hear that, but you do want to hear about your forecast. It's a pretty good one. We got a lot of sunshine out there today. It's going to be a little cool, especially this morning. In fact, cool. Scratch that. Cold. 15 to 20 degrees this morning. Warms up this afternoon though into the 40s. In fact, there's your first weather story there, right? Sun warms us up. Showers arriving late this week, though, but with much colder air rolling in, rain showers go over to snow showers. Could even see some accumulation with that as you look ahead towards the second half of your weekend. Future track today, though, big bubble, no trouble. High pressure in place. Fair weather associated with that. Doesn't get much fairer than this, does it? No clouds around here. It's going to be a beauty of a day. Of course, a little bit cooler than what we typically expect, but the winds have slackened, so it'll actually feel a little bit warmer than that 44. Wear some dark colored clothing today. It'll feel pretty nice. Tonight, it gets cold again, 15 to 20 degrees. Yep, you'll be scraping once again tomorrow morning. Then through the day tomorrow, we'll see some increased cloud cover. Temperature's a little bit warmer, though. Then by Friday, we'll start to see a couple of those rain showers. Really nothing all that heavy. Here's a look at your first warning seven-day forecast. This weekend it gets much colder. As I mentioned, you'll see those rain showers change to snow showers. Sunday would be the day to watch for some minor snow accumulations. We'll keep you posted. That's your first warning forecast. Here's Laura. All right, thank you so much, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5.30, 6, also 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great one.